Hi, this is the walkthrough video for how to change your settings and billing settings in your Vibrant Provider Portal. Once logged into the portal, this is usually the default screen that you see where you have patients you've previously ordered on. Um, if you notice in the top right corner, your name, either your clinic name or your individual provider name will be here. And if you click on this, a little drop down will appear where you can click on settings. Once in the settings screen, you will see um, your practice information entered. The information that's grayed out, you cannot change here, but if any of this information is incorrect, you can email us at support at vibrant-america.com and they can update this information for you. You can enter your address. Um, anything that's not grayed out, obviously you can change and anything with a red asterisk has to be filled in. That's required information. The most important part here is your billing settings. And this is where you can set up client bill. Um, so if you, if you are not set up for client bill, the payment option that will populate when you order lab tests in the portal will be that your patient will receive the invoice and um, be prompted to pay for it. Um, so if you do not want that to happen, if you want client bill to be set up, you will need to turn that on here and enter a valid credit card number, um, expiration, and CVC number. Once you've done that, you just wanna make sure that you have any of these other settings that you want created in here, um, you can change these. This is uh, more just informational as far as phlebotomy services, but if that is something that you need, you'll wanna work with your local territory representative um, if you are a domestic US account um, to set up phlebotomy services. Vibrant does not have international phlebotomy um, contracts, however. Um, the patient connection program is if you want your patients to be able to call in and speak with Vibrant's um, great clinical team to review their labs, um, get some feedback, lifestyle information, things like that. Um, it's sort of an extension of you, the provider, um, to kind of help with some of that behavior change, diet, nutrition, et cetera. If you don't want that um, to be available to your patients, you'll just check no. If you do want that, you will need to contact, again, your, your territory representative and fill out an onboarding form so that the clinical team is familiar with your practice philosophy when discussing things with your patients. Um, and then block report to patient. This is if you do not want the patient receiving the report when it's finished right away before coming back into your office um, to see you first. Um, and this is where you will make sure that your contact information for your practice is correct. So you will want your practice primary contact information to be here. Um, this is where we will get a hold of you if there are any trouble, if any problems with any of the samples or reports, for instance, um, if a blood sample comes in and it had, it's, it's not viable at the lab, so it would be a TNP. We would need to contact you somehow to let you know, um, as well as critical values, um, if payment hasn't been made for a particular test, that type of thing. Once you're setting up the client bill, one other thing to note is that you can read what the terms of client bill are. Um, if you have already been a, an account using client bill uh, or clinic bill, you originally signed a, an agreement, um, a physical paper agreement, and the terms are relatively the same. Um, nothing much has changed other than instead of billing on a couple of days a month, we're actually going to bill when samples are received at the lab. Um, so it will be um, multiple times per month based on the sample, not on a predetermined arbitrary bill date. You can actually read that um, and agree to it if you click on that little purple highlighted agreement, um, you can see what the terms um, of that client bill are and you can read through that. Once you have all of the information filled in there that you want to fill in, you'll just click submit. Um, and as long as everything is correctly filled in, that should happen. Um, this gives you some information about kit ordering, how to order kits. Um, the phlebotomy again is strictly for domestic US accounts. Um, but if you are, um, wanting to order blood kits shipped to your practice. If you do phlebotomy in-house, you wanna make sure that you contact your sales representative or the support team to do that. 
Um, <clears throat> Non-blood kits are going to be mailed to the patient as a default option. Non-blood meaning stool, saliva, um, buccal swab, or urine. And this gives you an idea of which of those which of those tests are on which type of kit. So if you're ever unsure as you're going through and ordering, you can come and look here um, if you don't have the particular individual test guides in front of you. You can also download specimen collection instructions here. Um, this gives you all of the collection instructions for all the various types of specimen collection. Um, that information is also available with each requisition. If you print the full requisition, you will see specimen collection instructions populate there. And this is where you can customize the information that shows up in your patient portal. So if, if you were on that patient's tab, um, you can change what information shows up under that patient name. Um, and you can also have a setting here if you see primarily remote patients or if you do not do phlebotomy in office, you can turn on this setting to send the blood kit to patients always as a default. Um, so this would be perhaps if um, you do, primarily this is if you don't have phlebotomy in your office, um, perhaps you work out of another office with another provider, but there's no blood drawn there and you're going to send patients out to get blood drawn somewhere else at a phlebotomy center somewhere, you can have the blood kit sent to the patient automatically that way. Again, any changes you make, you'll just wanna hit confirm. Um, and that's how you change the settings and set up your client bill in your portal.